Hello everybody! Today I'm going to show you a painting that I created in February, so a couple of months ago. I used my Holbein Duo Aqua Water Soluble Oil Set. That's a mouthful. <laughs> I think it was the first time I used this set actually. So I was very excited of using it. I remember I bought specific mediums for my paint because if you want to keep it water soluble, you need a water soluble medium, which I did not have. I only had regular mediums before. I really wanted to buy this set because of its water soluble properties. I thought it would create less fumes since I would need to use solvent. Which in the end, I'm not sure, well, maybe it created less fumes, but it still created some. So I don't know how much of a better choice it is compared to regular oils. Now I'm mixing my first color, which I will use to do my base layer. I poured some medium into my little container and I'm mixing it with the paint to thin it down a little bit. So it's a bit more usable. I have no idea if I'm putting enough or not enough or if i'm doing it the right way this is my main struggle with oils i struggle so much with the medium before starting i used the grid method so i had my sketch which i created in procreate i put a two by two inches grid on top and i recreated that grid on my canvas then it was way easier to sketch the painting because I could just look at the squares and recreate what I saw in each square. This is a technique that I did only once before and it was during a high school art class. But I've seen it multiple times after on YouTube, so I was looking forward to using this technique again. Now I'm going to show you how I manage my paints and how I mix them. Not because I want to show you how to do it, but because I want you to tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because there's probably tons of things I'm doing wrong. <laughs> it's only my third time painting an oil painting, so I learned by seeing videos on YouTube and oftentimes the mixing part, what's happening on the palette, is not shown so I'm kind of guessing I read some articles but still it's not the same when you haven't seen anybody do it if you know about oil paint and oil painting please give me all the tips you have I want them I need them <laughs>
now I'm starting my first layer and something is clearly wrong with my paint. I think that I put too much medium. It was way too thin, I think. Or what I'm thinking is that maybe I didn't load my brush enough with some paint. I mixed some really small quantities, as you may have noticed. And I think that for painting this big, I really need to be less shy about the amount of paint I'm mixing. I think it would be way easier to paint a big surface like this if my paintbrush was like fully loaded. So this is something I'm going to try next. After that, I think that my consistency, my texture was a bit better. Still, I struggled, but not as much as the first two paint strokes. I kind of have realized that I think I haven't talked to you this whole time I was painting. So, well, I'm not sure. It's been a while since I started this painting and um, there's a, a couple of reasons why I don't really talk during oil paintings. First of all is that I have to open the window because of the fumes of the paint and the mediums. So it's better to have better ventilation. So that's why I open a window and then there's a lot of noise from the street. So I don't really record the sound because of that. That's where I am right now. I have struggled with the top part of the water because since it's not based on a picture, I kind of had no clear idea of if there should be more reflection on top or if it should look exactly the same as the bottom part but i looked at some pictures and there's a bit more reflection on top but first i overdid it i put like way too many light colors and now i've been trying to fix it for the last couple of sessions i think right now it's pretty good yep i'm going to add a bit more colors maybe a bit more details but i think it's going to be the base then i'm going to start working on the canoe and the girl so that's it, that's where we are and we're gonna go back into no sound mode. Oh, also I wanted to tell you, sorry about this weird lighting, it's because today's a gray day. Usually there's a lot of sunlight in this room, but not today. I had to turn on the light and usually I try not to because the light is pretty yellow and it's it makes a weird color, especially when I try to edit it after. It's it's, it's never as nice as the natural light, but today we do not have that luxury. It's either that or we don't paint, which is not an option.
So here's the finished result. Um, to be honest, I am not sure if I like it or not yet. I think I need to wait for a couple of weeks before I decide. I think I gave myself a big challenge doing a portrait in oils. It's my third oil painting and I still have a lot of things to figure out. So doing a portrait was like a big step, especially since I don't really do portraits in any medium. So to decide to do a portrait this time, I'm not sure how good of an idea this was. I'm not sure I like the color palette. I think I maybe spent too much time working on it and now I just can't think straight. So that's why I'm saying I need maybe a couple of weeks before I decide if I like it or not. I know I like this part, this bottom part here. I love it. I love how loose it is yet you know exactly what it is. I think I like the Canu as well. I like the colors that I chose. I'm just not sure about the top part and the face and the portrait in general, I think, is it too simple? I don't know. One of the problems that I had was with my brushes. I felt like I couldn't do the small details in her face. Maybe that's due to the brushes, but maybe that's also due to the paint texture. I'm not sure if I put enough medium in it. I need to do more research because my main struggle was that I had trouble mixing the medium and the paint. I did not know if I should pour a little bit of medium in my paint mix and then mix it or pour some medium on the side and then grab some with my palette knife, put it in my mix. I'm not sure what's the best way, what's the more efficient way. What I did is a mix of both and I feel like I used a lot of medium but still sometimes my paint was too thick and then when I wanted to put more paint on top it just did not work. So I think it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just I don't know if I like it. I put it on the side like this because I added some color on this side and I'm waiting for it to dry. When I was done, I still had a lot of paint on my palette and I did not want to waste it. So I decided to do a quick little painting just with my leftovers. And I did this one, which I'm going to show you. I did it in like maximum an hour. And I almost like this one better than this one. So <laughs> that's kind of sad. I still had the same problem with this one where the paint was too thick. And once I put one layer, if I wanted to add more colors or mix some colors, it did not really work. You can see the brush strokes very well, which is good in the croissants, because you can really see that there are croissants, you see the texture, but this is not something that I controlled. That's what I need to work on. I think this is one of the problems that I had. So if you have any ideas, if, Maybe you know that it's a medium problem, it's maybe I did not put enough, I don't know. And maybe it's my brushes. I felt like my brushes were very stiff, so they left a lot of marks. Do I need synthetic brushes? Because I know that for oils, it's better natural brushes, which is what I have. But maybe I need to wash them with soap and then a conditioner, which I do not do, so they, they are a bit softer. I don't know. So please tell me all your advice. Tell me what I'm doing wrong and then I'll try to get better at oils. Even if I'm not sure how I like these paintings, I still had a lot of fun. It was a, a nice process overall. So I'm waiting for all of your advice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still here, please leave a like, please leave a comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I'm trying to push my channel. I'm trying to be monetized this year. So I need more followers and more views. So that helps if you want to help me. And uh, until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.